Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to this video of uh, the performance section of MacBook M2. So, in this video, I will tell you what how MacBook M2 performs and whether the its performance is good or not. So, I have 16 GB RAM model and storage is 256 GB. So, let's see the specification. So, as you can see, it is a 16 GB variant and it is 2022 variant and uh, <clears throat> you can see the storage so uh, there is 245 GB storage out of which uh, 160 is available because I have installed several application on this uh, device so now see the let's see the performance so uh, first see the activity monitor right now it's using uh, this uh, 8 GB RAM because I have opened several application like uh, Google Chrome and I also open the QuickTime player and I also open the Android Studio. I will uh, test uh, some benchmarks. After that uh, I will go on the section where we will try to run uh, how it perform for development. So first of all I have download this uh, application for this uh, disk speed measurement. So let's start the test. So as you can see, uh, it is running about uh, 1500 Mbps for read and write. So yeah, it is slow uh, compared to the previous uh, version. It means uh, it is slow from uh, MacBook M1. So let's see whether it will uh, reduce the performance or not. Right now uh, it is using 7 GB and swap is uh, 0. So when swap memory will be used, uh, the performance will be slow. Now let's quickly move on the real world application. So I use uh, Xcode for uh, uh, iOS development and Android Studio for Android development. So I'm just launching Android Studio. So now Android Studio is opening. So I'm opening this project and also opening Xcode also. So now and the app is building so this is a KMM project so you can also open this project also in uh, Xcode so just uh, go on workspace and open it with Xcode so yeah right now Xcode is running fine and let's uh, open the simulator of Xcode whether it will work or not So yeah, build successful and it is running. So let's run emulator also of uh, this Android Studio. So yeah, and uh, emulator is also launching. And let's see the performance of both simulator and emulator simultaneously. And how much RAM it will use, uh, we will also check that. So yes, it is running uh, flawlessly and I will reload again let's change something like hello world 1 or something and reload it yeah it is uh, terminating and reloading it yeah very fast and also I am uh, simulating it again so just open Xcode and rerun it this also Yeah, it is very fast. It is very fast, and uh, uh, as I can see in the activity monitor, it it is still not using uh, this swap memory. So uh, I think it is the best laptop for development because uh, if you are taking a 16 GB variant, you, it will not use swap memory. So there is uh, no issue for SSD slow or something like that. So go for this and choose 256 GB if you want to. Uh, make something in your budget because uh, the cost is increased from the MacBook M1 version so you can take 16 GB plus 256 GB for development also and uh, performance is very nice on this one because the single core performance of, of MacBook M2 is very high hope you like this video uh, what I will do I will compare uh, this uh, M2 MacBook with my uh, 
uh, Windows system, which is a gaming one. So let's see how it will perform against that's value system.